Okay, I've been creating this guitar for an, um, an elementary school auction using a water slide transfer technique. It's very cool how the finished product ends up, but I thought I would video the last couple pieces that I'm putting on. When you print off the on an inkjet printer the water slides, they look very opaque, such as this one, example. I've had to play with the sizing and shrinking down kids' original artwork to something that would work so I could put 27 children's ideas onto this guitar. But I only have a couple pieces left, and I thought I would video putting those last few pieces on if, it, if I can do it with one hand. They become very translucent on the guitar. So I use decal printing transfer paper and clear finish. I spray coated the top with an acrylic gloss, crystal clear gloss, gloss, and then you place it in water. It says 45 to 60 seconds, but what I found is if it's in there too long, the glue on the backing doesn't work as well. So I'm been playing with times of around 10 seconds and then placing them on a paper towel to dry out just for a few minutes. They curl up when you place them in the water. You want to use clean water. And they move slightly when they're ready. This one's not quite ready yet. I'll let that sit for a couple more seconds. And I'll take it out. Put it on the paper towel. Dry out a little bit. And finish absorbing some of the water and it's moving a little bit. I'm going to try this one handed. I may have to put this down to do two hands. See it slides off the paper. And really while it's still wet, you can manipulate it onto your place where you're putting it. I think I'm gonna have to put one more down to fill in the spot. But once it's on there, I'm gonna take a paper towel and you push the water out from the edges very carefully to not move your transfer around. And then you want to check to make sure there's no existing bubbles. I'm going to set this down for a moment so I can see if I can do it underneath here. Press all the edges flat and press any water that might exist underneath out. But the finish on it is amazing how the layers are translucent under one another. I originally used um, scrapbook paper designs, different sizes of flowers, paper flowers, pieces of paper, just all in the same color palette and gave them to the children to say how they would rock the world in the future. This is for fifth graders. Let's try another flower. I think I need something else like right here. So we'll put that again in the water for about 10 seconds and see how that works. I made another piece of art using the same technique with acrylic paint on paper where kindergartners painted their own version of what a guitar would look like and I'll show you that in a moment. I shrunk them down their images I scanned into a computer resized them to the appropriate size that I needed to fit onto the guitar and then added additional phrases on there of how they wanted to rock the world, or how they currently rock the world. So you see how this slides off so easily on here. Let me push the water out. I try to get an angled view of where I might see bubbles in the work. Press everything out. I'm going to let this dry for a few hours and then finish it. I've been finishing these with an acrylic 
gloss coat, which seems to have worked really well. I'm going to try one more flower, two more flowers, maybe in the maybe in this pattern right here. I think that would work well to cover up. I ordered off of decal papers 50 sheets. They're not cheap, but the more you order, the less expensive they get. So I had to do two art projects with that. Give this a few more seconds. And then I found a couple of places where it, they, it seems to adhere very well. I think the longer it's in the water, the less great it is for adherence to the smooth surface. And I have a little bit of a ripple here. I'm going to try something to get that to paste down all the way. And then I want to spray coat this, cover up the strings, and spray coat the whole thing with an acrylic finish. I don't really need to do the sides, I'll do the top of it. One last piece. Oh, it slides off so easily. It's very cool. Just to press out. You see that? I like using the same color palette on this version of the guitar. It really blends well with everything and some added details like how they're going to rock the world in the future. The fifth graders had to come up with what they're going to do when they grow up. And a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with preventing pollution, curing cancer, stopping global warming using determination to clean the world, becoming pro soccer players, discovering new planets. It was a great creative project. So here's the finished guitar. I like it. The colors, they're not really yellow, it's the coloring here. I'm going to move over here to the work I've been doing of spray painting the kindergarten version where they worked on making their mini guitars are so cute and I placed them layered them on there and then I just use this UV resistant clear acrylic coating I think it's working very well it's a gloss finish on the top the spray that I used for the top of the water slide decals was crystal clear. I think these work have worked well together. I know there's been some compatibility issues other people have reported with types of spray that they've used. I think you could probably use the same one on both. Um, this one's definitely more glossy. The crystal clear doesn't have as much of a sheen to it but it worked really well on the transfers. This is one version of a transfer it was too big to put on. This piece, do not use Sharpie directly on this because when you spray your acrylic coat on there, it will run. I was testing doing that. Otherwise, maybe I've provided some inspiration and help for other people who are looking how to create an auction project. I know I searched a long time on YouTube and the internet to find ideas. And this is what I came up with. Good luck.